metadata utility merge generator. From the main switchboard, click on merge generator switchboard, followed by clicking on metadata utility merge switchboard, which will bring us to the main metadata utility merge switchboard menu options. We're going to start with the fourth option as is the only manual option available, which is the WMC merge option, which is primarily designed for advanced users. Once the users have selected the applicable records that they want to analyze or troubleshoot, once clicked on this feature, then users will open up a documents and templates window, which will allow users to have a granular control which is a manual process that gives users the capability to manage the entire merge generation for movie metadata information in a controlled way. This feature, however, is only for advanced users and for most users for an overwhelmingly over than 95% of our users, this functionality is not needed as with the previous three functionalities which we're about to review, which are fully automated, users will be able to synchronize their entire Windows Media Center uh, movie library. However, for purposes of this video, for those users interested, they require to have at least a licensed version of Microsoft Word installed in their system where metadata utility is installed and running. For those users running any version of Microsoft Word from 2010 and higher up to the latest version, those users will require to go into the options section in Microsoft Word followed by clicking on Trust Center, followed by clicking on Macro Settings, and in within Macro Settings, selecting Enable All Macros. Here we add a word of caution to all of our users. Enabling macros, as indicated in this clear example, is not recommended as it is potentially dangerous as once activated, any type of code, even malicious code, will arbitrarily run without, even without the user's knowledge. So though metadata utility is safe, once enabled, any other code from any other application could potentially run if a user at a later time downloads a malicious update. Therefore, we always recommend to users only advanced users that want granular control and want to process step by step the entire synchronization with Windows Media Center, then these steps will be required. Let's look at the automated features that completely enable users to synchronize their Windows Media Center movie library metadata information. From the main switchboard, we click on Merge Generator switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Merge switchboard. And we're going to focus on the first option, which is the least invasive called WMC XML Profile Cache. This feature is designed for those users who have previously synchronized 
metadata information in their movie library. And they are experiencing either sporadic issues with signed movies or they wish to synchronize their entire movie library. If a user selects this option and a user has not placed any records in a selected records queue, which means that the user has an empty selected records queue, and for management of the selected records queue or how this functionality works, we have a separate video that we welcome users to click on as well as to visit our website to get informed how to manage and utilize the selected records queue in metadata utility. However, if no records are selected, metadata utility will prompt the user indicating that no records are selected, adding the suggestion if a user wants to have the entire synchronization or XML cache for the entire movie library. If the user selects yes, then metadata utility will proceed with building an entire selected records queue of the entire metadata utility movie database and synchronize each record with Windows Media Center. Though the processing of each record is quite fast, approximately half a second per record, we have to take into consideration if we are, as in this example, synchronizing 1,249 movies, as in this example, then it will take close to 10 minutes, a little bit more, to synchronize the entire library. The next option, once again, if we were looking right from the main switchboard and we clicked on the Merge Generator switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Merge Switchboard, and selecting the second option, which is called WMC XML Generate. This feature is designed to be used for users when they have new movies added to their Windows Media Center movie library, meaning that the particular movie has never been synchronized with metadata information in the past. Alternatively, if a user has edited or added additional information to an existing previously merged movie and added additional metadata information, then this option also would apply. Similar to us with the first option, if a user has not placed any records in the selected records queue, metadata utility will prompt the users advising that no records are selected and once again asking the user if metadata utility should proceed and select all records and process the entire movie library and synchronize it with Windows Media Center. Similar to the first option, if a user selects yes, then this becomes also a mathematical calculation. If it takes approximately one second, this second option is a bit more time consuming as profile caching. Profile caching is in other words, just copying data from the source, in this case, the network attached storage or the Windows partition or the uh, external USB hard drive or logical partition, basically from where the movies are stored, from there is copying 
to their local user's profile the existing file. So a copy is much faster than creating a new file. Made a data utility has to, after generating a file, um, add additional verification that that file was indeed properly created and properly formatted. Therefore, for each record, it can take up to one second per record to process, not half a second, one second. So this process could potentially double in time. And if a user selects the entire library, then we're jumping from for 1,249 records, we're jumping from 10, 12 minutes to potentially 20 minutes or more. Again, everything is dependent on the expert process, the verification process of that record, and then metadata utility moving on to the next record. Provided that the user is aware of the time constraints, then metadata utility will pr simply process the records and notify the user when the process has been completed. The next possible option, again, if we were looking at the main switchboard and we clicked on Merge Generator Switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Merge Switchboard, followed by clicking on the third available option, Download Cover Art. This functionality is designed as the numbers uh, name suggests, to download thumbnail cover art information for any given movie in the user's Windows Media Center movie library. This process is done directly online, which adds up to the download process depending on the user's internet speed, the uh, time of the user's congestion, as well as the user's resources from the personal computing point of view, we could say that it could take approximately half a second to download each file and process it properly, which means download it online, place it on the location where the movie is stored, and then name it accordingly, as we've seen in the previous videos before. Again, for those users who have not seen those videos, we welcome those users to click on those videos or visit our website where we have the step-by-step -step how the process works. This particular example, in this particular case, if we're looking into half a second to maximum a second per file. Per movie, metadata utility downloads two files. One is a real thumbnail, which is in a small size file, and one is a larger file. So if it was to take one second per file to download, place on the location where the movie is stored and rename it appropriately, then we're talking about two seconds, up to two seconds per movie. And if we were talking about, again, if a user was to click, Metadata Utility will ask the user if the cover art download should be processed. And upon clicking yes, Similar to the previous other functionalities, if a user has not placed any records in the selected records queue, then Metadata Utility will prompt again that no records are selected and suggest to the user should Metadata Utility download cover art for the entire movie library. So in this particular example, we're looking at a user that has a little bit of a larger uh, size of movies, in this particular case 1,353 different movies. If the user was to select yes, and for each movie it was to take two seconds, which is 
reasonable to think depending on the network traffic depending on the internet speed um, again in a best case scenario it could take half that time but assuming the worst case scenario that it takes two seconds per movie we're talking about here from 20 to 30 minutes approximately to download the entire movie library however if the user has the available time as well as the internet connection which is required for this functionality to work then metadata utility will continue proceed with downloading the movie cover art one of the benefits of these four functionalities particularly the first three functionalities is that they are fully automated and as we've mentioned before given the architectural modular design of metadata utility a user has the ability to select the appropriate option that the user wishes to take place for their given action in windows media center therefore if a user just wants to download cover art it can just download that information or in this particular case would be the cover art thumbnail files and if a user is not interested in downloading or generating xml that's metadata information for a movie which means that the movie will not show any information or cast information the user can select simply download cover art and be done with it metadata utility will synchronize that with window with windows media center and media center will show a library with nice thumbnail and cover art information but on clicking on any movie there will not be any information shown for a particular movie however if a user wants the full suite of functionality then a user can select one of the three options and carry out the synchronization with windows uh, media center again one of the key features that we always emphasize before clicking on any of these functionalities this is a quick reminder from the other uh, detailed videos in order for these functionalities either of these four functionalities to work without problems it is very important for users when they build their metadata library that they always run a quality review process on the downloaded metadata information as for example in this case any kind of errors or strange characters that are non-english type can potentially create issues when synchronizing metadata information in xml formats with windows media center this has to do with the architectural design from windows media center and as some users call it some of its limitations xml formatting in particular for windows media center requires that the information the metadata information that in this case is to be generated and synchronized with windows media center that it will be error free correctly properly formatted as we see in this example this could be potentially a cause for an error when windows media center attempts to read the generated metadata information users that are quite familiar simply will see that they click on the film and the film simply doesn't show any information whatsoever it's just that simple so we always recommend to users when we're building our metadata information review what kind of data has been downloaded apply the appropriate corrections before running one of the merge automa fully automated functionalities built in into metadata utility for any questions with the regard of this powerful features built in into metadata utility we have additional videos 
as we've mentioned on several of the other functionalities already, that we welcome our users to click on to get familiarized with, as well as to visit our website where we have a detailed information in which we go step by step into the different functionalities and capabilities of what metadata utility can do for you to enable you the, as the user to fully manage the Windows Media Center a movie library metadata information or movie information to get results as we see in this example here we welcome of our users then to visit us at metadatautility.com for more details we thank you for watching